Hey Soul Tribe, welcome to All Natural Cam. I'm Cam and we are continuing the SS series signature signs. A signature sign is basically the sign most specific to you. The way you get signature signs is you add up the elements, air, water, fire, earth, and the modalities, cardinal, mutable, and fixed, and you get a signature sign. So some people don't have signature signs. Those people are called ambiguous. There we go. Those people are called ambiguous signs. Um, they basically are just a good balance of in their chart. So I put a link in the description and you can see which sign you are. Please comment below whatever sign you are, even if this isn't your video. I want to know everybody that clicked. So for this video, it's Virgo signature sign. So my Virgos, Virgos coming right after Leo's and it's Virgo season while I'm feeling this. So happy, Vir happy birthday, Virgos. If you are a Virgo, happy birthday. Um... So just to give you an idea of what a Virgo signature sign looks like, I found Robert Pattinson, Notorious B.I.G., R. Kelly. So uh, Virgo signature signs, they are hardworking. They have a great vocabulary. They have high standards. They have a martyr complex. Um, they look well put together. They have obsessions, small or big. They are great friends and excellent partners. They're so observant that they observe the people that they like. They plot before they go. That's like, if they see somebody they like, usually they start plotting on them before that person even knows who they are. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, um, they're just, they like to plot things out. Not plot, but plan. Plot, plan, it depends. But they like to plan things out and they like to, um, think of all scenarios like Virgos rule by Mercury yeah Virgos rule by Mercury they're all like nobody can handle a Virgo's mind like Virgo mind go like a thousand miles an hour like not even an hour like they just go a second and a second a thousand miles a second there we go but yeah they go crazy they just whoo so yeah um they're very observant, they pay attention to detail, and because they pay attention to detail, they can be button pushers because they realize what your pet peeves are, what pushes you, what triggers you, because they, they learn all about you, good and bad. They accept it all, but they also could push your buttons a little bit just when they're upset and when the martyr complex kicks in because Virgos can be very um, chaotic in their own chaos, but very planned, you know? So it's just, it's their type of chaos. They're organized in their type of chaos. So it could, yeah, they could be button pushers with their minor complex. If things don't go to plan, they got to stick to the plan. When things don't go to the plan, you can see a whole different side of Virgo. But yeah, um, they are very flirtatious, contrary to the belief. But I mean, look at their neighbors. They come right before Libra and they come right after Leo, the two biggest flirts in the zodiac. So you thought Virgo wasn't a flirt? You thought they was a virgin? Are you serious? No, they flirty. Like, <laughs> but yeah, um, they're very hardworking, consistent. All these people that I have named, they're very hardworking. Um, they have their obsessions, small or big, but they are very hardworking. You know, um, every Virgo dominant I know is very hardworking, consistent as well, and that is a a key thing to being successful they like to, they want to be successful but every day they worry about a lot of things that they cannot control to the fact that they just work 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 so they <laughs> won't fail or they won't you know fall to the fears that they worry about every day that's why people cannot handle Virgo's anxiety at all because they worry about things every second of every day they think about everything every day literally so um, they're very sensitive. Contrary to what they want to tell you, they're very, 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 very sensitive. Um, they could uh, lash out. They're very dramatic as well. Coming after Leo, they're very dramatic. And they kind of, you know, they don't like to admit to it. So they like to cover it up with their facade of being well put together. And they're really just like, I need a hug. And it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but, yeah they could be a control freak um they like like i said they plan everything out so they expect their partner to act a certain way because they chose you so you need to act this way because they chose you to act this way you know like they learn as they get older not everything goes to plan and that's completely fine so yeah 
and they're very self-sacrificing. Like I said, they're excellent partners and great friends. So they do anything necessary to uh, like please the people they love because that's just what, what they want. That's literally what makes them happy. The six house, you know, self-service. So they like, I mean, not self-service. Um, they give service, house of service. They like to give to other people. And sometimes they sacrifice a little bit too much. Like they get involved in other people's situations. They want to be helpful very helpful so they are very helpful but sometimes in some situations you can't help and they don't realize that and it makes them sad that they can't help every situation or every bump in a row their loved ones get through but yeah all right virgo dominance tell me what you think um being a virgo signature sign um yeah let me know what your experience is comment below and yeah please like comment share subscribe thank you this is all natural cam